Hi YouTube, this is Just Plain Philip, and this is Survival Series number five. Squirrel Hunter survives five days in forest. A man who got lost survived five days eating worms and drinking muddy water. Bill Lawrence went out squirrel hunting on Wednesday in the, in the dense 13,000 acre Meeman Shelby Forest State Park in Tennessee. It was Sunday before the man was found. I would like to start by thanking the good Lord above. Without him, I would not have made it out alive, Bill Lawrence said in a statement issued by the Tipton County Sheriff's Office, where he works as a corrections officer. Lawrence lost sight of his friends while chasing a squirrel and became concerned when his shots were the only ones he could hear. Lawrence started out the trip wearing military-issued camouflage pants and jacket, a cap, and boots. He carried a shotgun, 15 shells, two bottles of water, a flashlight, a full can of deep woods off, a squirrel call, and a can of dip. He didn't have a cell phone, but it wouldn't have mattered as there is no service deep in the park. By the second day, he'd ran out of most of his supplies, including most of his uh, shotgun shells and all his water. Uh, he shot his gun whenever he thought he heard someone. His shells ran out on Saturday and he threw the gun down on Sunday, too weak to carry it. I would walk for a few hours, then I would sleep for a few hours to conserve my energy. I followed deer tracks to find water holes, he said. I would look under wet logs for worms to eat. With a heat index above 1,000 for most of the time he was lost, he spent much of his time searching for food and water. The water source was nasty, he said. A massive hunt lasted 119 hours until he was found. Teams went on foot with dogs, on horses, ATVs, boats, vehicles, and helicopters. The forest was so dense that some searchers were knocked from their horses. Two rescue crews who were within 400 yards of him following a trail of shell casings and water bottle labels when he reached the road on Sunday. It was about three miles from where he started out, but Lawrence estimated he covered 35 miles by then. Man, I was happy, he said. I laid down in that road and just sat there. By then, I was just wore out. Lawrence survived longer than anyone expected, said park manager Steve Smith. I think he was very fortunate, said uh, Chief Donna Turner, spokeswoman for the sheriff's office. She said Lawrence was dehydrated, disoriented, and weak when found, and was covered with chigger bites. He's on antibiotics to combat the things he digested while he was lost. After Lawrence's address Wednesday afternoon, he sat down with his family and, clasping his wife Kim's hand, began to cry. Uh, man, I, th I thought this was uh, this was something. You know, I go out in the woods sometimes by myself. And, uh, you know, I was just on a knobstone trail a couple of weeks ago, and, you know, I guess if I had wandered off the trail, I guess that could have, could have been me. Uh, uh, maybe not. I mean, uh, the uh, trail isn't that big, but, you know, I could have been lost for a while if I hadn't uh, taken my time and, and uh, looked at where I was. And really, it's kind of a, a lesson for all of us is that when we, when we go out in the woods, we need to make sure to take uh, more supplies than we think we need. Uh, you know, you should take some sort of emergency kit uh, and then make these little uh, straws that you can uh, uh, suck water through so you can drink straight out of pools. You just got to make sure that, that you've got what you, what you need to survive if you get lost. Uh, and you know it's hunting season now and so uh, you hunters you keep that in mind and uh, take out a little bit extra stuff it's, it's not the, the little bit extra weight I don't think it's going to kill you and uh, you know it may keep you alive be ready be aware and be prepared follow my twitter feed at twitter.com slash plain philip that's with two l's uh, show me some love and click that like button Post a comment, subscribe to my channel, or just send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and God bless.